What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we have got a pretty cool um, little package to install. As you guys have seen, we've got the new wheels, uh, Boost Auto Part mirror lights. There's a couple things that we need to do a little different to make a match. I actually dig these cab lights if you guys have seen that video. But today we've got a little something special from our friends at Boost Auto Parts. They sent matching cab lights that will match the mirror lights. So we're going to throw those on and see how they do as well as wireless charger. Not gonna be an installation video per se. I'll show you kind of what I am doing installation, but they have all of their installation videos. I'll link them in the description as well as a link of where you can purchase um, all the stuff that I have. So it'll be the cab lights, mirror lights, and wireless charging. We're gonna convert the truck to wireless charging today. Um, but yeah, first off, man, she is dirty. We had a rainstorm last night, it's October. About time to throw the winter set back on, but I just love these wheels we did. So we gotta go wash it first. truck all cleaned up she looks so good i love it let's do an unboxing i'll show you the tools i'm going to use this will be a super quick easy installation of these boost auto parts s series cab lights really excited to see how they look I'm gonna match the mirror lights perfectly let's get to it right here here's the box to come in let me open it up you see they're numbered keep track of the numbers um there it is important that they're numbered correctly i think it's for the startup sequence um and then if you have the blinkers if you're doing blinkers as well they got to be in order um and then i also think it's due to the positioning on the cab as far as like the contour of the roof but this is what we're going to use here these are our cab lights and then i always silicone them they say you don't have to they do have the foam seal already and they're supposed to seal super well i like to just put a little bit of silicone around the plastic to try and block a bunch of it before it even gets to the seal the ones i have now i did that i haven't had any leaking issues you're going to use a t20 a phillips screwdriver and if you're going to use waterproof um, sealant or silicone i use that come up here to these i've actually really liked these ones again a lot of people complain about them leaking i've never had them leak but i did put a little bit of silicone around them and they've been awesome the boost auto parts ones they're kind of set up so there's their uh, mirror light you can see it's just two strips i like how they match um but those don't look bad either so these ones you see they're gonna match the two strip style and I'm really excited about that. I think that will look sick. These are a little bit more raised, so I'm a little bit nervous um, how they're gonna look where they're taller. I do like how slim my other ones are, but these are a lot better quality and we are going to throw them on and see how they look. So they say um, that you don't need any silicone or any adhesive for this one. Because I wanna do it the way that they say, especially with them sending me this, um, I wanna at least give them the benefit of the doubt install them without any of the silicone that being said i'm going to throw them on without the silicone um, if you do want to use it what i do is i just take the silicone and i run it right along this edge and then it will seal there but they say they're all pressure tested and everything so i'll trust them i'm gonna throw them on i do want to show you what the difference is compared to them so you can see here, they seem like they're gonna be way taller and way different. They are different, but they're not that much like taller, I guess. So I think they'll look pretty sick. All right, cut them all in. They actually look way better 
installed than they do out of the box. I do not mind them at all. They look sick. I think gave it a little bit of a meaner look, being that most of it's all black with just those strips. They match super well. Um, like I said, I'm stoked on them. One cool trick, if you do have, I don't know if it'll be lucky enough or cursed enough to have this uh, panoramic sunroof. If you've had issues with it, you probably hate it. If not, you might like it. But if you open it, you can just gain access to all of them. Right from there. But they turned out sweet. When it gets dark um, tonight, I'll do a little better video of them, but they look sweet. Um, I'm really stoked on them. We'll try to see if you guys can see how it looks in the daylight even. Um, you can see the strip lights on the mirrors, but they turned out pretty sick. That's with them on. Anyone, unless it's just an iPhone thing, anyone who's watched some light videos, they don't actually flicker. But for some reason in the videos, all the lights always look like they flicker, but they all seem to be working. But they look sick. I Like I said, I love that they all match the two strip style, two strip, two strip, two strip. It actually turned out sick. Um, but yeah, and I think, I don't know, something about the way they look, maybe it's because they're a tiny bit bigger, but I think they made the whole truck look mean. It pulls in some of the tint on the windows and windshield a little bit, just even like the black tires, the black on the mirrors, but turned out sick. And then once again, these freaking wheels look so sick. But anyway, I'll do a separate video for the wireless charger. So that way if no one's interested in that, but they were interested in the cap lights, we'll do that. They do seal the gap on the cab lights. They do seal way better um, than like the Amazon ones. So I'm happy with them overall. Especially the startup sequence that they have. I think it just ties it all together. It's so sweet. Oh yeah, right here you can see everything all lit up. Two strips, two strips, two strips. Looks so sick. Huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts. Man, their stuff is so high quality. I love it. Super easy to install. Check out the links below. Oh, you can't really tell. See better before, but. Yeah, you can't even, it's not even worth the video. <laughs> Anyways, they look sick, they match. You can't see like I can outside of the camera, but man, they are so awesome. Comment, let me know what you guys like, what you don't like. If you like the style I've picked for the truck. I'm really stoked on it, but love to hear your feedback. Not that it's gonna change anything, but some of the feedback does actually play into, you know, companies that we partner with, all that stuff. Huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts. So far I've got their cab lights, mirror lights, and wireless charger. Um, so thanks for sending me those. I really enjoy them. I would never use a product I didn't like. So anything on the channel, even if it is sponsored, you guys can know that I support it. I'll try it. If I don't like it, I'll do a video that says I don't like it. So, so far, so good. Um, I don't have a long-term review on these new cab lights, but the mirror lights have been sweet. They're switchback. These cab lights, I didn't do the switchback on them, but I did do startup sequence. Unboxing of the Boost Auto Parts wireless charger for 2017 F350, 250, I think even 150. But pull this out, super simple. You have your wire harness, splicers, and an actual wireless charger here. So I'm going to throw this in and we will show you guys how we like it. Again, it won't be a step-by-step -step installation. I do have a link posted for a step-by-step -step installation, but this is just gonna be a review, kind of see how we like it, how it works, um, and if it does or does not work with a phone case on your phone, but should be cool. It's some space I don't really use, and it'll be sweet to have some of that newer technology. I love the body style of 2017, but now, you know, with all the newer trucks, there is some stuff we're missing like wireless charging, so it will be sweet to convert it. Super excited. Thanks again to Boost Auto Parts. They sent me this charger to try out, so we'll give her a go. Put it all in, tried it out. I did have to take my case off. I'm not sure if it's a style case or if it's because of the metal for the magnet. But the case does have to come off to charge, but 
it is sweet it's got this button here you can change the modes see i've got power to it i can't film because i use it but if, when you put it on it turns blue and charges it fits super super nice you could barely tell if you didn't know you'd think that was factory i like that you can have it there if you still want to use this you can tuck that away um and then when your phone's on it you know let's say this was my phone then you still have tons of room for storage if you wanted. It blinks if it can't get through. So this is saying it senses some things on the charger, but it can't get through. If it is charging, it'll turn blue. Killer product. Thanks again, Boost Auto Parts. Again, now I've got cab lights, mirror lights, and wireless charger. I dig it. All I need is those uh, light up steps. One day we'll have those. And man, we're loving it. So truck's coming along great. Jeep's coming along great. Like and subscribe for more stuff. Always doing something, whether it's changing wheels and tires on something, building the Jeep, whatever it is. But yeah, got tons of stuff coming, tons of different projects on the channel. So definitely a lot of entertainment to watch. So thanks again. Um, leave comments, anything you want me to change, do better. Um, future build ideas. Like so, yeah, thanks again.